Hi, I'm Saina Inc. And this time I have another Chinese pen for you. And this is Moonman. And it's quite affordably priced. It's like I paid like 10 euros for this one. Like 13, something like that. And it's eyedropper. And I wanted to show because this pen comes in really sturdy box. This is like it's plastic box, so it's like great study and it's like safe to like order from China because pen is like nested here and nope, it's not moving. And even when the case is closed, it's like nothing is happening in you if you like it's really safe to ship in these kind of plastic boxes. And pen comes with the eyedropper, so if you don't have an eyedropper, this is really handy. Also, it has like this uh, straight tip and not like ball here, like some eyedroppers have. So it's really great to like fill the pen. And I also like it's glass, so it's not staining. You can like easily clean it out. And I have actually using, I removed this insert and I use this for my pens because I can fit movement there. Then my PPS and Eco and 580. I can get like five pens here. Uh, four pens here, so it's like perfect for when I'm going like work or something. I need to take my pens with me, so it works. I also like I sometimes use that wispy case, but the wispy case is much much smaller. And I have been really liking this pen. Let's uh, it has it's really like minimal. There's just this ends of the acrylics. There's no cap band actually, no clip, and there's only this band that says Moonman. And of course the ink jumper. And you can see I have used this quite a lot. And it has really standard gold ir iridium point nib in extra fine. Nib is really good though, so no complaints on that. And it's eyedropper, so it means you fill the ink directly to this. Barrel. And I can't actually show it. I can't show it because it's like full of ink. You just like screw this section off, and there's O-ring there. And you can like apply some silicone grease on the threads if you want to be sure. Then just take the eye eyedropper. Oh no, which doesn't come. Yeah, eyedropper. Take your ink and bloop, 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 put it there. It was really easy to fill, and it's <laughs> it took like over two millimeters ink. I put one of my like ink samples I got. I put it there. It has been lasting for a long time. So it's really great if you write a lot or you use a lot of ink. These are really great pens. And I like that it has its own design. It's not like clone of anything else. It's quite compact also. It's like it's quite long but it's not that long. Let's compare it to 580. 580 is like really mid-size pen so it's it's not that short, but its ends are like rounded off, so it's like it really easily fits on pocket, which is good because it has no clip, so it's like it's not easy. You can't like grab this on like notebooks or anything. And the nib is good. I'm actually going to sell the writing sample. And this has extra fine, and it's like really, really super, super extra fine. Let's write the name. It's Moonman is the brand and pen is the M2. And nib is extra fine. This is a bit scratchy because it's extra fine, but no problems at all. And I uh, I have heard that eye proper eye eye droppers. Eye droppers eye dropper fundaments are prone to like burping. Which means when the eye here uh, expands it's not like burp ink. And I haven't had any is issues with this one. It has not been single purple pull up or leak or anything. It's been like it has been working. And I have this has been traveling with me to work and to home. And it has been on my back back and it's just like not leaked at all. So I think it's like really well made. And these threads here are not sharp, but there's a bit of step down on the barrel. Barrel here, like there's the section and there's the cap ring. And cap actually post. I almost forgot to mention that because I don't post my pens. Yeah, it posts and it's really light because it's just like acrylic. So, which is good that pen cap post because it's like it's round. It rolls off. It's like escapes and also really light. So, I will talk later about what I don't like this pen and cap is one of them. 
So, through the cons. No click. I find this gone because it's round pen. You let it on the table and it's just roll, roll, rolling, rolling, rolling. It's not. I don't like that feature because it means that when I'm taking notes and leave my pen on the side, it's escape. And in worst cases, drop on the floor or something. And that may break. And the cap here is like my biggest complaint. I like the design, it's really pretty. And I like the step here where the nip goes and the like empty part here where it's just acrylic. But it has no cap ring and it feels a bit cheap. It's not thin plastic, I can't I don't feel that I'm like breaking the cap. But I could I would want to see this Moonman band more like here because I know when there's like threads right in edge of the cap they are really prone to like crack. So I'm a bit worried that those may not be long lasting. And cap feels cheap. The pen itself is really great and like quality, but the cap is one that like gives it like a way, like tells it's like made of cheap plastic. And I think the cap cap needs to be like redesigned. And I'd love to see like a clip or something that tops this rolling. And other thing is nip. Uh, it's not the nip size, it's the nip color. I don't see that yellow uh, yellow gold is like any way to fitting for this pen. I would much rather see like regular stainless steel and not like gold plated. And there's little, there's a really limited color selection. You can't like choose this band color. It's always red. You can get the alum aluminum version where the section is alumin aluminum and this band is different colored. But there's not that many. So if you want but in most cases, if you have colored ink here, it will be colored the whole barrel, so that may be good. But yeah, I I would much rather have like like you know when you have like hmm, like toothbrush where you can change the band of the head, like you know what who is like who owns the head. I would like to see similar design here where you can just take this aluminum ring out and change it to different color. But that's my opinion because I don't like red color and I think it's clashes a little bit with this green and the yellow, yellow uh, gold plated nip is not, not my thing here. And then, well, there's not much other to complain. Uh, it's that cap that most bothers me because it feels cheap. It's like it really rolls and I have to like hold it on my hand when I'm writing and it's sometimes not like most practical way. Of course you can post it, but I don't post my pens, so... It's it's bothering. I really hate because it's a small thing that would make this pen like perfect. They have like better gap. Gap, and it's like... Well. But they have been actually improving the design to Moon Mat, so... I hope maybe next one they have a cap ring and clip. And why I think this is for good for artists is... The huge ink capacity. It takes, takes, takes like two millimeters of ink. There's like, you can write so much and you can draw like. I think like you can fill a sketchbook with this amount of ink. So it's really a huge amount of ink. Especially if you're traveling, it's great. But word of caution, uh, eye droppers doesn't travel well because there's so much. There's air here. Maybe we're on airplane the air pressure changes and it may rub out the ink of the nip. But, and extra fine nip is really good, if you like this, there's, there are other nips available and I think it's standard size 5 nip, so you can chase, change those. And especially for artists it's great because you can see in the middle which ink you have inside because it's losing there. So I like this pen, even if it has some gimmicks like the cap is not my favorite thing. But I have been liking it so much, and it was actually one, like one faction that I ordered at a little bit more expensive than BBS, because I had really good experience with this Moonman, and this Moonman has been actually coming with me to work every day since I got it. So it's been quickly become my favorite one. So thanks for watching, and hope I see you in my other videos as well. Bye.